let's spend a few minutes talking about mean time between failure. So let's draw out the primary components of an infrastructure. You of course have security, you know, with your firewalls. You have your network infrastructure. This is all part of your mean time between failure for your system. You can't just include a component. Here, let's talk about some servers, right? You've got the network cards and the HDA cards, especially if you're in a fiber channel type of environment. So you have to include those. So we've got the servers. Now, we're only drawing single components at this point. Of course, we have a, um, a storage switch. We're just going to put this as storage, disk storage here. So we'll just color those blue. And then, of course, we have a switch associated with that, that storage as well. So now all of these components here that we've drawn on the screen here all work together to establish service availability. And the whole objective between mean time between failure is how often is my environment available for me to use? So when I connect, let's say it's a cloud and I'm connecting to my environment, to a cloud environment, excuse me, I connect through the firewall, ethernet switch, through the ethernet card, the HDA card, down through the fiber channel into the storage. No big deal. So what is the mean time between failure for those components? We're going to talk about that in just a moment. So now I take that architecture and I double it. I give it a redundant environment here that I'm drawing out on the screen. Now I have two firewalls, two switches, two uh, storage devices, etc. You get the picture. So now when the customer comes into the environment or I consume that IT resource, I have redundant path. So now my mean time between failure says I not only have one switch, for example, or firewall, I have two. So when one of them breaks, I have the second one as a backup. So let's draw out kind of the way mean time between failure is kind of usually um, how we see it in the industry. So we take a hardware component. Mean time between failure is really focused on hardware. And let's say that this firewall is 172,000 hours, right? So we're going to take our annual hours per year, 365 times 24, and we're going to come up with 800, excuse me, 8,760 hours. Then we're going to take, whoops, I typed that in backwards. We're going to take those 172,000 and divide it by our annual hours to see what our mean time between failure. How many years is this device going to go? 19.6. We also, because the reason why, excuse me, the mean time between failure is so high on this firewall, let's take a little closer look. You've got a firewall, you've got redundant fans, right? And you've got ports that are dual ported to the customer. So whoever's consuming your environment. So they're automatically failing over between the two ports within the system. So if this system fails, we automatically go to the second system. So our mean time between failure in a static infrastructure like this is very, very high, right? We can go years without having a failure in the environment. So it's a different way that we have to look at what mean time between failure really looks for usability. 